Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is August 4th. It is about 11.35 in the morning and I just filmed a makeup look today. I did the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I just did a really kind of like fiery reddish brown type eye look and then I'm wearing Jeffree Star Cosmetics Leo Liquid Lip on my lips today. Um, I'm gonna film one more video for the day and then I'll probably just edit the rest of the day honestly because I am starting to get a really bad headache and looking into like a super bright light I'm just like oh my god. Basically uh, this vlog really isn't anything just like little clips from my life as usual but I wanted to show you guys my new setup. If you can hear like a whole bunch of noise in the background they are going ham with construction outside right now and oh my god it is so fucking loud it's annoying so anyway um recently i just got like a whole bunch of new stuff to film with i got like a monitor a new lens a ring light everything so i just have like a whole new setup thing type going on with my filming so um basically here's where i sit now i have to sit quite a ways away from my camera but basically what you're seeing is all my new setup. So this is my new monitor, so I'm no longer going to be looking in the viewfinder. So for those of you who always were pissed off that I was looking in the viewfinder, lucky for you I don't do that anymore because my new monitor is over here. So I mostly look in the lens now and then I did get a ring light. This one is from Amazon and it has like a stand and all that good stuff here. So that is my ring light. And then this is my new lens for my camera. This is the Canon 50 milliliter lens, as you can see there. So it's super, um, very, very different than what I'm used to. So that's why I have to sit quite kind of a ways back from where I used to because it is super zoomed up. But it's a really nice lens. It makes the background nice and blurry, keeps my face nice and sharp. So that's my new lens. And then this is like my old TV that I used to have in my bedroom. I basically just have my camera hooked up with this cord to here. So every time I turn my camera on, um, you can basically see. So I'll just turn it on really quick. Um, so you guys can kind of see so once I turn my camera on you can very obviously see my face. Hello So uh, yeah, it's very very high-tech uh, At least for me. I mean this is all new to me I don't really know what I'm doing or if I'm even doing this right, but yeah, so this is my new setup now uh, You'll have to let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's super cool still trying to get used to it So, you know We'll get it done. Then this is the palette that I use today on my eyes. I absolutely love it. Really, really nice colors. And then I just use like a whole bunch of new makeup, like stuff I got from Sephora. And then my next makeup look, I really want to do one using these Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Eyeshadows. You guys have probably heard about these all over YouTube, so I'll probably do a makeup look with those. And then I just have this TV tray as like a separate table because I can't sit here anymore. Um, I basically have to sit way over here and then I just have my usual um, background set up there. The one thing that kind of sucks is since I do have to sit so far away from my camera now, I, the <laughs> this is like seriously so ghetto, but when I have to focus my camera, I have to use a yardstick. Like I have to hold it and I have to like push down and make sure that it's in focus because I can't do it with my finger, obviously. Otherwise I would be completely blurry. So that's like the new way I have to focus my camera now. It's so weird and so different, but I'm glad I don't have to look in the viewfinder anymore because I know a lot of you absolutely hated when I did that, but I, may, I mostly did that to make sure that I was like in view, in frame, everything looked good, but I don't have to do that anymore. So 
yeah, that's why basically everything that's going on. Nothing else is really um, uh, new with my life. I've just been kind of working, filming, you know, that's, that's really it. You guys did see some footage of me and my sister when we went to... Uh, Michigan's Adventure and then I also went kayaking for the first time which was a lot of fun. I absolutely love kayaking so we'll probably do that again soon. Tuesday I'm going to an event for my work. They hold this event every single year and it's mainly store leads that get to go but since I'm the assistant manager or the assistant store lead I get to go this year which is super exciting. Um, I've been at my job for like two and a half years now and I finally get to go so I'm really excited. We get a whole bunch of goodies. There's going to be like latte art contest so it's gonna be really fun I'm excited about that my smiley piercing is doing really good I've had it for almost two months now I haven't changed it yet I will probably do a how I brush my teeth with the smiley piercing because I know a lot of people probably want to see that um, you know so let me know I haven't changed it yet I don't know when I'm gonna change it when I do you guys will see it there's no way I'll be able to change it with these nails so it'd have to be a time when I don't have nails on so yeah that's basically everything that's going on with that. I did, in about 15 minutes, I'm uploading an update on the tattoo contest, which I'm super excited about. Mm. Oh, I did move my printer and lipstick thing over to this wall now, and I have my shoe rack over on that wall. So I did kind of redo my filming room. It's an absolute mess right now, just because I've been like filming um, all day so far. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, my undercut. I recently dyed that a different color. I dyed it electric lizard green. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you guys this. Give me a minute. I need to like put my hair up so I can show you guys what it looks like. So there is the green color on my undercut right there. It's just a really kind of dulled down green. I haven't. Yes. What are you doing? I haven't bleached my hair again, so literally I just kind of faded the periwinkle blue that I had, and then I just put the green over top of it, so yeah, I think it looks really cute. Um, yeah, that's basically everything going on with my hair. My hair is getting super long again, which I'm really, really excited about because like a year ago, I kind of cut it into like a long bob type style, and I decided to grow it back out again, so it's getting there slowly but surely, so that makes me super happy. Um, gosh, it's so fucking loud out here. Like, I don't even know if you guys can see, but the construction going on right now is insane. Here's the puppy. This is little Miss Avril. So can you say hi, baby? Yeah, can you say hi to the camera? Can you tell everyone how old you are? <laughs> You guys, it is insane. Avril is 10 months now. Oh my god, like where did the time go? She is so old now. It's so crazy. It's like just yesterday she was only 8 weeks old and now she's 10 months and she's going to be 11 months this month. So, oh my gosh, and she's going to be 1 in September. I just, I can't even believe it. And then there's Jackalberry. They're both doing really well. They constantly play like this all day long. <laughs> she definitely starts it. Like, you can just tell. She's definitely the instigator. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. You guys are so cute. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Boy. Um, I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. Bye. She's like. Ready, ready. We're done. Relax. Ready. Take it easy. Ready. What are you doing? Isn't that the same symbol from the girls' room? All right. These these women they were on. Oh my god. Part of a cut. You're really something. I I really need to, to tell She's you. She's like so on guard. Like she can't I relax. I've never seen a dog do this. Her little low growls. Look at her face. Look at her face. 
Who is that? No. Don't kill me! Now I'm on my way to get a coffee. And it's raining. Cool. Okay. Oh god. It's raining. Okay. Oh. Okay, we made it. So the Jeep. I didn't have it for a few days because Shane put in a new radiator for it. So this will be my first time driving it. Since the new radiator was put in, so. It's making like a really loud screeching noise. I don't think that's normal. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get a coffee and pray to God that it, it runs okay. So, wish me luck. Okay, so the screeching stopped. Now I'm just here waiting for a big ass truck to move. Ugh. It's raining. I love it. We're getting so close to fall, I'm so excited. Okay, I can almost go now. Traffic is insane! Alright, so I'm almost home. I don't know what that screeching was, but it stopped, so that's all I'm happy about. Thank God. <laughs> That, was, that noise was scary as fuck. I didn't know what that was because the Jeep needed a new radiator, but they took the exhaust off with it. Oh, why? <laughs> it's so loud now. done filming for the day. I got my coffee. Now that I have my coffee, I can take my pain med and... Hang on, I'm typing. Now I can take my pain med and I can edit and I can drink my coffee. I'm so excited. I mainly went to go see my, my store lead, but she was having a meeting with my boss, so couldn't talk to her unfortunately so I'm gonna go inside now and um, get to editing so I'll see you guys later hey guys welcome back to the end of this vlog it is about 20 to 6 and I'm watching insidious chapter 3 and I'm just kind of hanging out I don't work today and I didn't really feel like doing anything I didn't feel like editing I didn't feel like filming so I'm just having a chill day um, and I wanted to end this vlog here, but I wanted to show you guys a quick haul of the last time I went to the Tanger Outlet Mall. So I went to three places. I went to PacSun, I went to Converse, and then I went to Bath & Body Works because they have all of their fall scents out right now. So I wanted to take full advantage of that, and I spent almost $200 there at Bath & Body Works. So I figured I could go ahead and show you guys everything that I got. So... Let's begin. This first thing I got, I have always wanted one of these and I've never... Sorry. That scared me. Just turn that down. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, so this is the first thing that I got. I've never had one of these before and I really never understood why I haven't gotten one yet because I think these are so cute. Just like a really nice decorative piece in the middle of a table. You just put your candle in there and it just looks really nice. So the one I got 
It's like a silver color and it just has these little jewels right here on the sides. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was super cute and it looks really nice on my table. I have yet to use it because I wanted to save it and show you guys in this haul. So yeah, I don't know. That's the first thing I got. This was, whoops, breaking it already. Uh, I think this was $15, $16, something of that sort. And then I got four new candles and I'm kind of surprised in myself because I did not get any mahogany teakwood candles, which is shocking because I usually always do. The first one I got is this one this is bergamot and it's made with essential oils and this one was probably one of my favorites i don't know i just love the smell of this one it just smells very relaxing i don't know i really like it so that's the first one i got um the next two really fall scented ones that i got is this one this one is sweater weather and i have had this one before and i absolutely loved it um, it has a very interesting smell, very kind of sagey, but it's really, really good. So it just looks like that. The packaging is like way different on these, and it's also a blue colored. The last time I had it, it was like yellow. I also got another fall favorite, which is, of course, flannel. You guys know I love the smell of man, and this one is just a really nice really nice like manly scent I don't know it's really good for fall and I absolutely love the picture on this one like I just want to be like walking down that road like right now it's so nice and I also really like the top of this one because it looks like it's like a sweater knit I don't know it's really cute so those are the first three and then this last one I got is this one which is a white barn candle and this one is chestnut and clove i don't know this one just has a very unique scent to it and i love the packaging i just hope this one burns well because the last couple white barn candles that i got for some reason they just didn't burn well like they smelled really good but when i would burn them you could literally barely smell them but this one oh i don't know it has like an apple cinnamony Oh, it just has such a really nice smell. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really nice. So yeah, those are all of the candles I got. And then I also did some damage in the body care aisle. They were having a buy three, get three free or buy two, get one free, I think. I think that was their deal going on. So the first thing I got is the Magic in the Air Foaming Sugar Scrub. Sugar scrubs are honestly some of my favorites. Like if you've ever like seen my skin in person, my skin on my body has always been very soft and very smooth. Um, I give a lot of credit to sugar scrubs because of that, just because they work really, really well for me. Um, and I was using one of the eucalyptus lavender stress-free ones, but I needed a new one. So I picked this one up. Never tried um, this scent before, like in a candle, body wash, anything like that. But I smelled it in the store and I thought it was kind of cool. And since I was spending money, I might as well get things that I've never tried before. So that's the first thing I got. These next two ones are for the fall. And this one is one of their new products. This is just the Bath and Body Works Fall is in the Air Body Cream. And what's really cool about these is that they're made with pure honey. So they're really good for your skin. They kind of lock in and keep that moisture in your skin. And the scent that I got is bright autumn blooms and it smells so good i literally use this stuff like all the time you guys will probably see it in a favorites video for sure because i love it and then i also got a another sugar scrub type thing and this is not another one of their new products uh this is the bath and body works body scrub and marshmallow pumpkin latte Oh my gosh, and again, it's made with pure honey, so it'll be very moisturizing and exfoliating for your skin, which will be absolutely perfect. So I don't know exactly which one I got for free, but you know, whatever, it's really super cool. So that is everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. I think it was a really, really successful trip. Every time me and my friend go, we always have like just a really good time and we always have like a lot of success. I just popped this zit that was on the side of my face. So if you're seeing that, like, I'm sorry, it's really gross. Um, and then, like I said, the other two places I went was PacSun and Converse and I got a few things from there. Things th that I really did not need at all, but I figured why not? So PacSun was having a buy one get one free on their t-shirts and I saw a couple that I thought were really cute, really flowy, just really cute t-shirts that I thought I could add to my collection because recently I went through all of my whole closet and everything and I got rid of like two trash bags worth of clothes. So I figured, you know what, I can get away with these. So the first one I got is this really nice blue color. 
as you can see there, and it has, it's really super flowy and really lightweight. And then it also has this little slit down the chest here, which I think is kind of cool and kind of sexy. And it's not like one solid color. It's like uh, different shades of blue and kind of faded in areas. This one I got is just a plain black tee. It just looks like this, but this one has the little holes in the front here and also in the back. So it looks kind of like ratted and torn up. And again, this one is very lightweight and very flowy. So it feels really nice. And I've already worn this and I'm obsessed with it. It just looks really nice on um, with just like a pair of leggings or whatever. So that's um, the second thing I got at PacSun. Then I went into Converse. I did not need this at Converse like at all. <laughs> like I could have very easily gone the rest of my life without this. But the last time I went to Converse, Shane had to pick up a new pair of shoes and I saw this really cute like sweatpants suit and I couldn't get it out of my head like I couldn't stop thinking about it so I went back and I got it so it just looks like this Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the movie. You guys know I love horror movies, so this is just really, like, distracting. Okay, anyway, so here's what the suit looks like that I got at Converse. It's just a very simple, basic suit, just a hooded zip-up sweatshirt, and then it has Converse in white in the corner there. And then on the bottoms, it has, like, these cute little, like, cuffs right here. And it also has sweatpants to match it, so I thought this would be, like, super cute to wear, like, during the fall time. So I'm really super excited about it. I'm trying to like unzip this thing here. And then here's what the sweatpants look like on the inside. Same color and same cuff design on the bottom there. And I got the sweatshirt in a size small and then the bottoms in an X small because I am a toothpick. That's basically everything that I have for my little haul. I'm just going to continue watching my movie. Probably fall asleep, take a nap. That's what my dogs are doing right now. We have Jackal and Avril both fast asleep taking naps so uh yeah that's basically everything for now i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm sorry it wasn't very particular and i'm sorry it was kind of like random and spaced out but regardless i hope you guys enjoyed i will get back into my regular vlogging schedule soon so you guys will see more um if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up go down and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one i love you guys bye